Hey, what's going on? It is Gunner with 98.9 The Bear hanging out here with Dustin from Star Set at Sweetwater in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm so excited. Dustin, what's up? How's it going? Dude, you know what? I'm good. I'm wearing my jean vest because I'm hoping by the end of this I can be in your band. Uh, you almost have it. Just a little more a little more spikes. No, I, I don't know if I need spikes or more sleeves because you're wearing this awesome black jacket. How do I get one of those? We actually had 250 made. After we bought these and uh, the specif- uh, specially made and sold them in like 15 minutes. So we have some more coming. Maybe we can hook you up. Yeah, see, I love that. Now, I, I, we're actually hanging out in this room like right across from where you're playing at Sweetwater. And I was checking out the merch. Awesome merch, by the way. And I love when bands have cool stuff. You, you're even selling a telescope over there. What's up with that? Yeah, we have lots of different space themed things. Uh, and we try to keep the merch nice and fresh. It's really what pays the bills. So you got to. Plus, we're really passionate about it. Yeah, so that's awesome. Now, let's talk about space for a minute, because I love space. I love Star Set. I've read your book. Actually, you gave me a copy of your book the last time I saw you years ago. You and uh, Ron both signed it. It's awesome. I read your comic book as well. Uh, I love the space theme, and that's why I like. I love gimmicks when it comes to bands, and that's why I wore the jean vest today, because I was hoping you'd show up in a space suit. Now, I feel like a total loser. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> Sorry, man. The spacesuits are for the the full go demonstrations. I totally get that. I totally get that. Um, yeah, w- let's talk a little bit about outer space right now because I know you're big into that for real. Like you have a background in what? What's your okay? Educationally, what's your background again? Like, what did you do? I have a master's degree in electrical engineering, and I was uh, working towards a PhD in avionics, which is basically robotics and navigation, and. Um, Got done with the coursework for that, and then got a record deal, and then that was it for that. Which is crazy, because then you hear like guys like Jeff Bezos going to outer space and all these guys, and I'm like, why isn't Dustin from Star Set on a spaceship right now? Because I feel like a guy like you going outer space makes more sense than Jeff Bezos, you know? I gotta get the tens of billions of dollars first, I guess. That's why you need to get out to Sweetwater or any single Star Set show, right? Any point they're playing any of their demonstrations, and buy their merch, because we gotta get this guy to outer space. Boom. I'll what? have the next penis spaceship yeah no i don't need more penile it looks like a penis right it does is it does that make sense to you it, the penis would be uh the fluid dynamics of the aerodynamics <laughs> of that makes sense yeah. i guess so i mean that's how i ended up with four kids but i always thought it's because i was irresistible i guess i don't really know anything anymore you have an aerodynamic penis i hope so i mean my my wife has only made minor complaints i suppose <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this. So you guys obviously caught up in the whole COVID thing. What were you doing? Like you got you have some like cabin in the woods, right? What's the the deal with the cabin? Um, Tried to I do every record in a new location and I want to get away, uh, get that like a a new location feel, but also some serenity, I guess. And uh, had a cabin built in northeast Ohio to write and record the, the album. Okay, so how far is that from like Fort Wayne, Indiana, where we are? I just moved here like seven weeks ago. I don't even know where Fort Wayne is actually located in Indiana, to be honest. I haven't really even Googled it. So you and I could become best friends, right? Ipso facto, of course, yeah. Wait, did we just become best friends? Yes, we did. That's exclusive. Dustin and Gunner are best friends. We got a high five. Oh, dude, look at that. We're hugging now. We're huggers. This is fantastic. Dude, let's talk about this acoustic uh, run you guys are doing. I think it's awesome. Um, you know, like yeah, it's, we talked before we started the interview, I've seen you guys do some acoustic stuff. Uh, what brought this on? Like you just wanted to get back out there and start it back up? Yeah, we were planning the big uh, comeback tour for November to support the fourth album that'll be out soon. And that I think that was back in April when we were doing that. And we realized there was some time we could fill. And we decided to do super intimate shows for 100 people or less. And uh, like with an extended meet and greet, photos, and show them the new record while also playing an acoustic uh, performance and knock the dust off and get back and meet the messengers again. Dude, see, I love everything about this. You know, when I heard you guys were coming to town after I moved here, I was like, oh my God, one of my all time favorite bands. And I'm not even saying that just like to you because you're here, you know, because you know a lot of the radio douchebags are like, oh, I'm with like my favorite band right now. I'm with Starship. Dustin. It's Starship. Yeah, tell me about uh, the planetary systems and stuff. <laughs> no, like I legitimately like love your band. I listen to Star Set all the time. I actually forced my kids into it. You know, they're into like, like Jojo Siwa and all that crap. I don't get it. I don't know. What were you listening to as a kid? All kinds of stuff. I think the first thing I, I my mother had a, uh, a Phil Collins album. Sweet. Yeah. And that made me want to play drums. Okay. Specifically, you know, the, uh, the specific, the, uh, oh, yeah. in the air tonight. We yeah. all know. Yeah. 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 Yep. And I, 
was a poor kid, so I got a snare. Okay. Started with the snare. You know, my kids are poor too, so it's fine. <laughs> then mowed, uh, <laughs> I mowed lawns to get a drum set. Then I picked strawberries by a guitar, and it was. And then, but at that point, I discovered uh, my first album I ever bought with my own money was the Weezer Blue album. Okay, I had that one too. Yeah. It made me sort of want to learn, like, get into rock a little bit and write songs. And then Metallica made me want to be in a, a band for sure. Oh my God! So we okay. N- number one, we uh, I I had the. How old are you? Uh, that is a secret. Okay, because I'm about to turn 39, so I think you and I could have been best friends because I love the Blue Album and Metallica, if they were playing right now. Have you ever met James Hetfield? Uh, I have not. Have you? No, because oh, if I, I going to be super jealous. No, because I'd be jealous of you, too, because I always said if I walk in a room and James Hetfield is there, him and I are both going to embrace, we're going to hug, and we're going to both start crying, and he's going to be like, Gunnar, it's, I can't believe it's finally time I'm meeting you. You know, I just assume that's how people are, right? I, I I feel the same way, you know. Okay, so w- when you record an album and you're writing all that stuff, um, do you play all the instruments, or do you like pre like do you like work out demos and send it to the band? How does that work? Yeah, so there's a lot of demoing. Uh, com- the computer age has helped with that. We can use uh, keyboards to sort of demo things out, anywhere from drums to guitar, actually, and uh, do that. And then once it's sort of there, then um, we'll perform it. Uh, this record, for instance, uh, Jason from Breaking Ben came up and did some of the guitars oh, at the cool. cabin. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's a buddy. We had fun. So that's that's sort of how you just you kind of compose it and know what you have, and then when we send the uh, so there's uh, digital strings, for instance, yeah. then we we send them to uh, we do those in Nashville. Okay, so this is cool. So it's like a collaborative effort, but you're like working it out beforehand, which is cool. You get a lot of different people playing on the stuff. Let's talk to the new album because you every album seems to have like a slightly different theme when it comes to what you guys do. What's the theme of this new one? Um, it's a sister album to Divisions in terms of some of the narrative. There will be a second novel out next year. Nice. And those the albums straddle that narrative. Um, and the sound is, is an extension, but an evolution from Divisions. Um, it's, it's harder, but uh, not always. There's 15 songs, so it's, it's dynamic. It goes a lot of places. That's the thing with Star Set, man. I, every time I pop up on an, like a Star Set album, it's like a soundtrack. Like That's how it feels, and I think it's done so perfectly and wonderfully, and you know, I, I appreciate what you guys do so much, and I'm so glad and excited to see you guys play here at Sweetwater today. Acoustically live, you know, with full-on guitars, I don't care. Why. Dude, you get up there and just sing or talk. Actually, you should start doing TED Talks. Have you ever done one of those? I haven't, but we've, we've joked about having a Star Set con where we have oh. we have scientists come in and uh, and and people in the space industry and, and but and also everybody's dressed up in uh, yeah the star and then stuff. Jeff Bezos comes landing down in his penis looking spaceship that'd be amazing it would be well Dustin from Star Set thank you so much new album coming out in November looking forward to that if you can catch them on tour make sure to do it because these guys are one of the most special bands around I swear like it's fun every single time Dustin thank you for your time thanks man.